guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Foster Kajin Cosplay and today we are back at you guys with WandaVision! <laughs> episode 4! Yes, last episode Wanda gave birth to two baby boys, uh, Billy and Tommy. Tommy and uh, Geraldine was there to help her and at first it was all good but then Wanda was starting to talk about Pietro, the fact that he was her twin and I mean, he died and stuff, and then Geraldine she was like... She brought up Ultron, it's yeah. like, what? Like, it's like memories came back, and she was like, yeah, he died facing Ultron, and Wanda got very intimidating. Like, she was the villain of that scene, <laughs> for sure. And it looks like she threw her out of a pocket of, of pixels, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. We saw Westview, where they supposedly live. It's different from what it looks like when they're in that TV show world and uh, Geraldine was thrown out there's like a bunch of people I'm guessing looking at this phenomenon trying to understand what's going on they are sending people in to either stop it or get Wanda out or just I don't know get information uh, but Wanda is definitely strong and if she's the one in control she manages to change the memories and, and just control these people it's, it's a bit fucked up but right now this is where I think we're going and this is where this is what I think is going on so they are stuck in a pocket where they can't leave. They're basically prisoners. This is a pocket where everyone has a happy life. Everyone is happy. Everyone is getting what they want, especially on that envision. They want kids. They're getting kids. They both have different names. They're getting twins. Each have one of their names. And if Vision is asking questions, she Rewind. rewinds. She doesn't want him to ask questions, but he's you know he's noticing a lot more. Last episode he was noticing the neighbors talk about stuff they didn't understand and then well, there the were neighbors secrets were just uh, so, uh, going being off yeah. yeah so and not just that Agnes was also being very suspicious being like shh, shh, you don't want to talk about this like you're helping Wanda keep the we secret don't talk about Geraldine. but <laughs> literally Geraldine was a problem and Agnes was talking about like she doesn't belong here and stuff but then when they were starting to talk about the fact that this wasn't real, Agnes was the one being like, shh, shh, don't talk about this. Like she's, it's almost like she's helping Wanda keep the illusion. So yeah, I am a bit uh, suspicious. Suspicious. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I think I know, I think I understand a little bit what's going on like with this, but how we got there, I still don't know. All right. So the format has changed. I think we're still moving on with the decades. I don't know what, type of TV show we're gonna see what focus. We might focus. be in the 80s or 90s now. Yes, we might be. So we're gonna start recognizing a lot of shit. Uh, let's jump in this episode and see what they have in store for us. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to know when these episodes come out and check out our Patreon for the full reactions. Let's go. Let's go. Looked pretty cool. Is this after the blip? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we never saw the aftermath. Like, that's pretty cool. I'm looking for a patient in room Everyone is freaking out right now, honey. It's not the time. But Dr. Hartley, I think I can't believe it. Where did you go? Well, I've been in her room since she came back from the surgery. I, I, I mean, I, I might have fallen asleep, but no longer than 20 minutes. It's been five, five years. years. Your mom, she died, honey. Oh. What? There are some, there are fan, fan fictions about the aftermath of the blip. Those people probably went through a lot of confusion. Okay, stop, stop, no, you're, my mom is Maria Rambo. I don't understand what's happening, but you need to listen to me. Maria died three years ago. No, no, no. Which you... was two years after you. Oh, after stress. what? After what? You blipped. After you disappeared. You got snapped. Like in Endgame, we brushed over them coming back, and then in uh, Far From Home and stuff, again, we just we mentioned it, it a little bit, but we brushed it off really fast. Low key, a movie about the people returning would be amazing. <laughs> Trauma wise, and they stuff. don't know what happened. They were technically yeah. dead, right? I mean, some people, you know, a couple, one of them disappears, the other moves on with his, with his or her life, the other one comes back, it's fucked up. People that die during the five years. It's like in the 400s, right? 
Yeah, similar like that, yeah. Sword! Ah, oh, yeah. The design. <laughs> They really like in, Mar in the Marvel Universe to name where you are. <laughs> yeah. Hi, good morning. I, I work here. And you did your badge of work, wouldn't it? Right. Um, yeah, five years ago. I have a meeting hey, with... You know who this is? This guy. Captain Monica Rambo. Director Tyler Hayward. Come on, let's get you up. You would feel so out of place. I know Sword's your home. Your mom built this place from the ground up. Mm. You should have been here to help name the replacement. You were the obvious choice. I was the only choice. I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> Look, Tyler, you know the job you have to do. I'm here to do mine. Let's get you back out there. She is very good at adapting because the this FBI is, is doesn't have a titty choice, over right? missing persons case up in Jersey. Missing persons? I know, but they've requested use of one of our imaging drones and I need a chaperone. If this is because of you don't have to worry about me. There's no easy way to say this, but you're grounded. I'm sorry, what? Terrestrial missions only. <laughs> you're kidding. Well, who, whose protocol is this? Your mother's. She implemented guidelines in the event vanished personnel ever returned. Mm. That happened Look, before? I know it's a raw deal, but there is one positive. She had hope that they would re return. Yeah, it's, there, she there's that. Come back. You'd be doing me a big favor with this FBI thing, but if you need more time. No. No. I'm good to go. Excellent. It's just that for her, it looks like nothing has changed. She still has her capabilities, she can still do her job. But for them, so much is different. They're like, dude, we can't allow you to do what you used to do. Not now. And it's like, they don't know anything about the people that came back. What if they're not the same as when they left? Where's you? So I think, you know, they need to keep an eye on them in case something else happens or in case they're different. James E. Wu, FBI. Monica Rambo, sword. What's the story here, Agent Wu? Uh, I've got a witness set up down the road in Westview, and this morning it looked like he flew the coop. Your missing person is in the witness protection program. I have contacted known associates, relatives. And let me guess, none of them have seen him either. No. None of them have ever heard of him. Well, I took the first flight out of Oakland to interface with local law enforcement, which is when I encountered a new wrinkle. Pardon me, Sheriff. Would you mind repeating your claim about Westview to my colleague here? No such place. You're saying the town of Westview, New Jersey, doesn't exist. But it's right there. So it appeared out of nowhere? So a town appeared out of nowhere with people in there that have never existed. So you can't reach anyone inside and everyone on the outside has some sort of selective amnesia. This isn't a missing persons case, Captain Rambo. It's a missing town. Why haven't you gone inside to investigate? Because it doesn't want me to. You can mm -hmm. feel it too, can't you? Nobody's supposed to go in. I would assume the town existed and it's just that whatever's been done to it now the means everyone worries. else. Yeah. yeah, everyone else has just forgotten about them. Which is fucked up. Hey, that's the helicopter. <laughs> or the drone. Which is gonna be different when she hey. finds it in there, but yeah. There you go. Wait, where'd it go? It was right Inside there. the TV world. I love that we're getting an episode about what happened out there. <laughs> it helps. <laughs> it's definitely, it's gonna allow her to get in. What is it? Question is, is she Did aware? Did she get out? Well, she, she, she's gonna Sorry. be thrown out. Careful, Rambo. Captain Rambo. If she did have a face like she was Rambo. surprised when she gave her name. Yeah, okay, there you go. Captain Rambo. Then you bring in every force that you have and stuff. Because uh, this is big. She just disappeared? Yeah. yeah. So we have our explanation about what yeah. happened out there. Darcy! What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> What's your field? We're not supposed to talk to each other. Hmm. Boy Scout leader, got it. And uh, you? Nuclear biology. Artificial intelligence. Astrophysics. We got the full clown car. Mm. It means whatever the threat is, Sword clearly has no idea what they're dealing with. 
I'm a chemical engineer. No one cares. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I was about to say, now we know what happened out there. Now we have the answers as to why they're here and stuff. That's good. Those drones you're sending in, what kind of data are you getting? I'm afraid that's highly classified. Well, she's here to help. You can't see anything? <laughs> Colossal amount of CMBR. CM. Cosmic microwave background radiation. We've been told the radiation is within a safe limit. Uh, it is for now. Wait, what do you Shh. mean? Shh. Let her do her job. There are longer wavelengths superimposed over the noise here. I need a TV, an old one. Flat. <laughs> it took her two minutes. They're dumb. She's good. <laughs> she worked with Jane and Thor. So basically what we saw from the outside was a bit mixed. From the time she got the, the drone and then she saw him, but then we also saw them with the old TV that was before. Mm -hmm. Well, Tom is different. She got pregnant. Yeah. I know, I know. Like that and give birth like that. Someone get me a useful visual, damn it. We go with Darcy. She got a TV. She and she got visual in two minutes. I'm not going to tell you. Is that? It looks like her. You move at the speed of sound, and I can make a pen float through the air. They get to watch the TV show with some popcorn, you know. Look, I know it's been a crazy few years on this planet, but he's dead, right? Supposed to be, yeah. You, what is this? Where is this coming from? Out there. You didn't answer the back door. This is what's happening. Is it authentic? I'm not sure how to answer that. Is it happening in real time? Is it recorded, fabricated? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know. <laughs> like, this is new territory. <laughs> My so you're saying the universe created a sitcom starring two Avengers? Well, the universe. It's a working theory. I'm guessing Wanda had a, a hand in this. Now, people, if she was alone is another question. <laughs> so that's the ending of the season of episode one. I mean, look at trying to find the names broadcasted. Like, who are they? <laughs> we successfully identified two individuals inside the Westview anomaly. Let's keep going. All people that exist, but no one is going to rem remember them? I'm guessing, since it's the same thing as the town. <laughs> Played by... <laughs> well, it is some sort of a TV show. We have everyone, that's the question. Agnes is there. <gasps> no! <laughs> and then, there you go. Does she seem okay to you? She doesn't appear to be harmed in any way, but... That is definitely not the boss lady I met yesterday. <laughs> what are we looking at here? Is it an alternate reality, time travel, some cockamamie social experiment? It's a sitcom. sitcom. Yeah, but it goes beyond that, Darcy. Hey, man, we're working. <laughs> is this from the current episode? Aired about two minutes ago. What is it? I love how they're talking <laughs> about it. What does it look like to you? Like a retro version of a sword drone? Mm -hmm. Bingo. But how did it change and why? It adapted to the universe. Just like you send someone in, they adapt to the TV show. Physically and mentally. Okay, transformed to the beekeeper. He adapted to yeah. the universe. What did happen to him after though? Did he get rewinded into the tunnel? Sixties and now the seventies. Yeah. Why does it keep switching time periods? It can't be purely for my enjoyment, can it? <laughs> she's just <laughs> loving this. She is eating snacks. You ready? They are They're so, so into it. Oh, he's perfect. Aww. Twins. Aww. 
What a twist. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> She's a fan of... <laughs> After three Did episodes? Did you just say the name Ultron? How are you? So now we're seeing what happened. They'll wow, notice. this is different. Yep. What happened? We jump, yep, right no, through. And you'll receive her Someone out there. Someone is censoring the broadcast. But where's Rambo? I think your girl is right there, censoring the broadcast. I don't know. I love the transition. <laughs> Wanda, I'm just your neighbor. And how did you know about Ultron? You're not my neighbor. And you're definitely not my friend. Well, friend, I don't know, but... Right now, you are trespassing here. Girl! And I want you to leave. Do you understand that you're doing this, honey? She's in there, but she's so... She's lying to herself. She's blind to... To, to, to the truth. Or she wants to be blind to the truth. We're gonna talk about it maybe at the end of the show. I don't know, maybe during the show. Uh, she'd rather live a lie. Because the reality sucks too much. I think she didn't kill she's her. She's still alive. I don't know how, but she's still alive. Oh, fuck. What? See, this, this is the reality. You can't run away from it. We don't have to stay here. We could go wherever we want. No, we can't. This is our home. Is that out there? You're dead. Are you sure? Oh, don't worry, darling. I have everything under control. Mm -hmm. There it is. Control. Are you okay? It's Wanda. Yep. It's all... I was right about this. It's Wanda. I am still wondering if she was alone doing this, though, because her power is strong, but can it do that? <laughs> Vision is not liking it. Well, no, he's noticing a lot of shit is wrong. Ugh. I did, I did say to you way before that this show was a good example ab about grief. Well, so keep that in mind. This show is I about mean, no, we can actually grief. We can actually talk about this we, right we now. We can talk about it, but yeah, it's, it's about grief. Grief has... Der there's different stages to grief, one of which is denial. I think we are in the denial phase yeah. where she doesn't want... A really want... strong, big phase yeah, of denial. Well, that's the thing. Like, we talked about how she has a lot of trauma. She's been through a lot of shit. Her brother... Her, I mean, even before her brother, how she was... Um, when she was a kid, the attacks and stuff in Sokovia, and then how she was raised, and then her brother dying, and then Vision. She, her and her twin stay three days waiting for the bomb to yeah, explode. Yeah, there's that. Are. And then, you know, they were raised like soldiers, and then uh, her brother died. Then after that, it was the, the whole shit with the Civil War. Like, she blamed herself because she, I mean, a bunch of innocents were hurt or died because of her, and then the people judged her, and... She was cast out. She was the misfit once again. She got close to Vision, and then she lost Vision. Mm. There's a lot of baggage on that girl's shoulders. On that girl's shoulders, um, I am not surprised she would want to escape. I am at wondering if she's the only one that did this. Like if she got help somehow, or because I mean, I do, her power is strong. I know she can do illusions. She can, you know, play with the mind. Like it came from. Wait, her powers came from which stone again? Was it the Mind Stone? It was the one in the Scepter, so Mind Stone. Yeah, um, so... Was it in the Mind Stone with Vision? It's the one they gave to Vision after in, so in uh, Age of Ultron. But her powers came I'm from the I stone... Myself, sorry. <laughs> after. Yeah. Her powers came from, if I'm not mistaken, the stone that was in Loki's Scepter, which was the one he used to brainwash people. So it was the, the Mind Stone. That's kind of why she can give illusions and, you know, put people in illusions, manipulate them mentally and stuff like that. There's more well, that she can do, but... Same from what she did in Avengers, she can manipulate 
object through well, she can do it, but through shit. time and space yeah. and people's mind also through time and but space. Mostly, because she gave she gave Tony's vision about what would happen that's in the what future. I just said. <laughs> so maybe she has that powerful that can, she can create all that by herself. Yes, maybe like thinking about it, it's true she can make illusions and stuff. She could manipulate the people to believe that they belong in this world. It still seems to be such a large scale. I am wondering if because I mean what happened to you? Like, I get it, you were grieving. I get it after, I mean, you had... She disappeared, so she wasn't there for the for, for the whole five years, and then she came back, and everything fell on her shoulders. And not only that, but then again, they were in a period of grief. They lost Tony, they lost, they lost Captain America, they lost, they lost Natasha. Natasha. They, I mean, the... And she was reminded, like, Vision, she had no time to grieve over him in Infinity War. She disappeared right after. She didn't get to get to have her revenge. She didn't kill Th Thanos. She wasn't. Well, I mean, she could probably have done it, honestly, but she was interrupted. So, so. But then, if you interpret that in her mind, she she could be thinking, you know, I wasn't okay. strong enough. If you think about it, do you remember in Age of Ultron when she, Pietro died? Yes. She felt so much grief and pain that mm -hmm. she had a burst of power, yes. and so all the robots. Interesting that she didn't have to, time to grieve. Vision, Tony, Natasha, uh, Steve. Right after that, who yeah, said that still. she had another burst of power and she heard this? No, but this, still, you know? she no, but it didn't happen right after she went to Tony's funeral. Who knows? So eventually, I'm guessing it caught up to her, but something triggered that, like she emotional breakdown, um, realization that she was alone. Like, what did she do after the funerals? I want to see how that came to be, but that's for the future. That's for the rest <laughs> of the show. I get. I, I mean. Anger, I get it. She got angered, the anger part of... Like, I don't remember which comes first, but anger, she definitely got that. Anger is the first part. It's because oh, she no. she hit at Thanos, right? She went and fought, and she was fucking angry. Like, she got the anger part. I don't know when denial comes in, but I think this is definitely the stage where she is right now. Wait a minute. Let me look it up. As you look it up, I'm going to keep going. Stage. It's so strong for her. That it's almost like she's managing to come to mind mind fuck herself, you know. Mm -hmm. the, the 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 attempt at denial is so strong that she's controlling her own mind to completely lose herself in this universe where everything is perfect and everything is is everyone is alive. She's got vision and she's got that chance to have a family with him and everything she wants with him. So. Okay, so according to this five stage of grief, denial would, should be the first one. Well, she went in uh, out of order. <laughs> after, after it's anger, bargaining, uh, depression, and acceptance. Bargaining could also be at at play here a little bit, but still, to me, it sounds like she's trying to deny the truth so much. She created this universe to escape from the reality, escape from... Well, she, does, she doesn't want to grieve. She, she doesn't want to go through that. She's pretty much defensive and uh, overprotective of everyone who seems to be a threat to her own illusion. And I mean, it makes sense now her reactions, if you think about it. Like, whenever she saw color, whenever people started acting weirdly, it was all, always outside interference. So if she's supposed to be in control of this universe, and if she's supposed to be in control of... of what's going on in there, and then something happens that she didn't trigger or she didn't ask for, she would be confused as to why is there color here? Why are you acting like this? Like, what's that voice? Because she doesn't know what's happening out there. So it kind of breaks her world, and she should be, she would be, like, questioning, what the fuck is going on that my illusion doesn't work anymore? Mm -hmm. But she still wonders. She, it, it seems to me, because I was wondering if she was forgetting who she was in order to play that part okay. but then again it was so easy for her to turn back into the one that we know to talk about Pietro when she gave birth or to to be like no when she saw the guy coming out of the sewers and stuff and and you compare that to when she found the the drone and she was like what the fuck those two reactions were so different I was like do you know what's going on or do you not know what's going on so to me it looks like she's always known what was going on she's playing a part and she wants to lose herself in that part but she's not forgetting, like she, remem she remembers her, fa her brother, she remembers what happens. And if someone comes in and remembers too, that's when she knows, okay, 
I didn't put you under that illusion. What the fuck are you doing here? She's also, like I said, very protective of her own universe. Yeah. And she's gonna bark and bite at those who try to threaten it. Well, you don't belong in my perfect little yeah. world. You weren't there to begin with, so sending you out. And again, you know, same thing. You're coming out of the sewers. You're definitely not part of the illusion. You're having my husband ask questions and stuff. I'm sending you out. I'm you know, rewinding and stuff. And when she sees stuff that doesn't belong, like color, and when she's supposed to be in black and white, when she's supposed to control this entire universe and it goes against that, she's questioning, you know, what the fuck is going on. So there's the, the questioning, there's the surprise, and there's also the, the, just the, we're tearing away the mask whenever something definitely does not follow along with what she wants in this world, which is the perfect reality. Cool. Basically, she's sad. Yeah. And she needs she's someone sad, to help but her. But with a lot of power behind it. And the, the worst is, like, now she's building this whole thing. Those babies are not real. They can't be real. She hasn't been in there for not, for nine months. She hasn't been in there long enough to actually give birth. They are figments. I'm guessing they are. They were created just like this universe. Eventually. Well. Well, that's how I see it. She did create it, uh, a crib. She created food and stuff. Yeah, but it's all illusions. Yeah. It's all not there. Like, the backdrops are not there. The TV stuff are not there. You know, like, what we see, it's, it's all... Westview doesn't look like that. You know, it, it's, all, it's all coming from her illusions. So I'm guessing the babies were also... I mean, yeah, she created the babies, but the babies can't be real. She didn't sleep with vision in the in the thing and actually get pregnant, you know? Yeah. So I I I know that now she's like she wants to deny that there's a reality waiting for her out there that she's gonna have to face. But considering she's adding on to what she's gonna lose with those babies, with this life, that let's be real, even if Vision was not dead, she would not have this life out there. It but would she not be the same. Vision. I know, but still, she's adding on to the stuff that she's going to lose. So whenever we have to break down that reality that mm -hmm. she created, whenever she has to face true the true world, she's going to lose those babies. She's going to lose this vision. She's going to lose vision. I don't know. Like He's dead. She's going to lose vision. She's going to lose the, the wedding rings. She's going to lose the perfect little life she created. It's going to be worse. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see what happens, but True. I think she's unfortunately setting herself up to even more grief. <sighs> we'll see about that. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about Darcy and uh, Agent Jimmy Woo. It's cool <laughs> that she's in there. <laughs> it's cool that they brought Honestly, her back. Honestly, I was surprised that they brought her in the show when I first uh, learned about it. Well, I mean, the big stars of the show or Wanda and Vision. Mm -hmm. So you can't like, sometimes they'll do that for a cameo, a, a cameo and, or something, like you'll bring in someone important, but considering, I mean, I don't know how this will affect everything else, but it's not like they can bring Doctor Strange <laughs> to help, you know? So who, I mean, it's a way for them to tie in the other storylines, make it part of the MCU still, and, and it's still a believable world. Like if they need help, they'll ask for people who have an experience with the shit that's going on. But then again, they can't, like, they can't call Tony Stark anymore. They can't call, like, Doctor Strange has shit to do, so they can't call him. True. But I just want to fact that, just like Darcy, she's a little bit over, uh, everywhere. She's just, she's always, Dar Darcy is Darcy. <laughs> Darcy is Darcy. <laughs> she's fangling over the show, just like with yeah. Jimmy Wynn, just like, uh, eating chairs. I was like, oh, what's gonna happen next? And she became a fan of the show. Just like really fast, <laughs> but that's a, a bit of humor from from her side. Like mm -hmm. the thing is, I think it, for those people who don't have powers, but they've been in this universe. Like it's it's. I, I saw a meme. I don't remember uh, on Facebook. I think where uh, it's a joke where you know when you live in the MCU as a normal person, you're going to work and stuff, and then suddenly your car gets thrown around by Iron Man and cut in two by uh, by uh, Doctor Strange because I think in Infinity War they do that to a car. Like, would you would you just hate to be that normal guy that tries to go to work and, and then your car gets destroyed in a battle and you're like, again, fuck you. Or you're sitting in your, um, you know, on your sofa watching TV and then some, suddenly, like, there's an adventure, like, the whole fucking 
passes through your apartment, destroys everything. Again. Uh, it's just normal life. So for these people, but yes, yeah, she's here to investigate a phenomenon. She has no idea what it is. She has no idea how it came to be. Then, well, here's Wanda, you know, an Avenger. Makes sense. We're just accepting it and moving on. She's seen some bigger shit. She's seen mm -hmm. a god come out of the sky in a fucking beam of light. True. <laughs> and now you kind of have your hands on the fact that the people living in Westview... Yeah, we're real people. We're real people and they're yeah. playing a character in our... Yeah, she included them... A re reality. She included them in that bubble of, of fake reality she made for herself. Mm -hmm. What I'm not really sure, again, yes, is uh, did Westview not exist it, not it exist. existed it's a it's a town that existed and i because uh, i mean everything is there the town is there the sign is there they know it's there and they were investigating someone from there that was missing but then again no one remembers him so i think the town was there and when she created that pocket it's like the town itself disappeared in that little universe so she erased it from everyone else's minds but the town exists, so if we destroy that, I think the people that lived in Westview will come back and then people will remember them. But it's, it's really weird how she created this and how that works. But the town exists and the people live there, the people that are in Westview with them, they existed and they lived there. And she just decided that this town was the perfect place to create a pocket of uh, fake reality. Cool. All right. At least that's how I understand it. <laughs> In any case, that was episode four. My gosh, uh, I mean, we are doing this. So far, it's been in one sitting. We're watching episodes after episodes. <laughs> but these are not that long to no, watch. It's like true. 30 minutes. It's the last ones are a little longer. So that I know. 47 minutes. <laughs> but still, yes, it's true. The show is uh, qu pretty easy to watch, you know, back to back and stuff. So it's interesting. Uh, I am excited to see how this is all going to end. In any case, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one right away, it is on Patreon already. You can check it out. The link is in the description below. And if you don't, the next one will be on YouTube next week, guys. So stand by. We're going to see you next time. Yes. Bye. Bye, guys.